Well, good afternoon and welcome down to Windy Hill Kennel. We're really glad you're here. And this is Judy's Rambunctious Kids. Uh, they were four weeks old on the 8th and they are busy. I know, they just had a bath. We just shaved their faces and gave them a hygiene clip. And so they are like into everything right now. Um, now you're gonna tear my pants, that's nice. So they haven't really discovered <laughs> noise toys. Where are you coming? Are you coming in my lap? Nope, you're leaving, okay, good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put collars on today. So I have my assortment of collars. What are you doing? I see ya, oh my goodness. And uh, they'll wear these till they go home. I know, you're back to see if you can get in my lap, it's okay. So um, we'll go through, we'll get, uh, as we do their weights and everything, I know you're back again. We'll put collars on them and let you see their weights. I think I'm gonna actually pull this over here a little closer, because they're heavy enough, I'm not stretching to kingdom come. Your tail's wiggling, is your tail wiggling? All right, so they're, they're enjoying, I'm gonna try and scoot over and give them more carpet. Hi, you're back again. All right, so this one I was looking at a little bit ago. This one is a Blue Merle Party, and it's a female. Microchip number is 30358. This puppy has one blue eye and one black eye. Yep, and it's gonna stay that way. So you got a one blue eye, one black eye. And um, we're gonna give her a purple collar. I'm hoping, she's smaller than the rest of them, and I'm hoping that this collar will fit and not come off her head. Otherwise, we'll have to take it off of her. Uh, all right, let me see if I can make it just a smidge, smidge smaller. They're not gonna like these once I put them on. They may not move anymore. They may lay totally still because they have a foreign object on their body and they're not gonna understand why. That one, I think. <laughs> she says, I'm not moving. All right, so really, really cute faces. Their hair is lovely. It's so soft and lush. And let's see what she weighs. All right, can I move your bod? Here, you can chew back on the duck. All right, so it's on, let's see. So today she is two pounds, 10.5. And she will have a purple collar on and she will wear that home. All right, let me set you out here. So while we're on the blue Merle parties, let's just grab this one. This is a male. I'm 99, yep, no, it's a female. See, I'm 99.9, .9, not sure. Uh, 30353. And this one's big enough. I'm going to give her a pink polka dot. It's a pink color with black polka dots is what I should have said. Let me go in here and see. We're going to scratch. As soon as they get these on, they're either going to collapse on the ground or they're going to sit and scratch and scratch and scratch these collars. Now I got it too small. They're enjoying the toys. They've never had toys. If we give them toys at this age with mom, she carries them outdoors and they never see them again because they're not, they're not old enough to go out the doors yet in the kennel. All right, I think this is gonna work great. Yep, that one works great. So she's always gonna have a pink polka dot, a pink collar with black polka dots on it, that's what I'm trying to say. Let me see your eyes. Uh, yeah, we got a blue eye. You got a possible two blue eyes. This one's just the opposite. This is the blue eye on this side. This one is, eh, maybe blue, may not be blue. But this one's blue. Yep, I know. Maybe it'll show up in your pictures today. This one might have some blue in it, but that one's bluer, I think. And again, she's got beautiful coats. All right, you guys are just mauling my scale to death. Come on, you gotta move you out of here. Move you out of here. All right. And I swear, somebody smells like they're gonna potty, and I've got paper towels and wet wipes on standby. All right, nobody touch the scale. Three pounds, nine ounces, right on the button. All right, so I'm gonna put you down over here. Come here, you're ornery. Are you ornery? I know what, you like your belly scratch, don't you? Oh my goodness. This is a female. She's a black and white party. Got really, really pretty colors. Let's see where we're at. We are three, zero, three, five, five. All right, so let's give you a neon pink collar. 
All right, I gotta make this smaller because this one's a big collar. Oh, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ta-da! Got it. And I know you're gonna bite her collar already, aren't you? So when you look up there, we shaved faces. Vanessa was scooping faces and cleaning their eyes off so we could see their eyes in the videos. What are you doing back here? I see ya. All right, let's see. This is, oh, he's bumping the scale. You gotta get off the scale. What's the deal? Come over here. Come on. Don't play on the scale. Get over here. Get over here. All right, she is three pounds, 1.5. You gonna try a dismount? Then try to dismount? Nope. Okay. We don't have time to wait on you. We've got too many babies in this litter. And I think we got a face shot for you. All right. Hop down. You go that way. All right. Let's see. Come here. You're ornery. This is one of the big males. I know it. You like your belly scratched? Oh, he says there's a good spot right there. Yes, there is. All right. Come up here. Ugh. This one's going to sleep. Please don't call me. If your puppy is laying like this and not playing, this is totally fine. There are puppies that are going to be comfortable out here. There are puppies that are not going to be comfortable because they got a collar on. It does not mean there's anything wrong with your puppy. It just means she is not in the mood to do this today. So this is really their first time out here big like this. So she's like not into this yet. And so is this one. So don't panic. I get calls all the time. People say, oh, my dog's not moving. It's fine. You will see them get just as rambunctious as everybody else once they get used to going to outside. All right, so this one's going to get a red collar. This is a boy. This is the one that does not have the big white collar all the way around. He's sitting over there. This one has the splash up the side, a little splash on the neck. And he is 30356 is his microchip number. All right, let's see. You gotta move. And you're sleeping, seriously, in the middle of this? All right, let's see. You are four pounds. Oh, move, move, move. Move, 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 move. I can't read. I can't read. I know, you'll get to go in a minute. You just sit there and be patient. Four pounds, 3.5, and there he goes. Ouch, no bite. Come here, Orny. I didn't give you a... We'll catch him in a minute and I'll show you face pictures. He says, I gotta scratch my collar. Come here. Hey, p -p bozo. Come here. Come here. Okay. Hold up here. Let's let him see your face. Get a good face picture in there. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna get individual pictures this week. I'm gonna try, but I have all of Divas Goes Home this week. They were spayed and neutered this morning. And this is gonna be a crazy busy week. Let me do the other mail. Come here, Munchkin. No, you found my collars. Yep, you found my collars. Come up here, Munchkin. Yep, you're not gonna hide by my leg all day. No, nope, you can't hide by my leg all day. She says, I'll hide under somebody else. Okay, so this one is a male again. And we're gonna give him a royal blue collar. Oh, that one's too little. I gotta make it bigger. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Don't leave the area. Don't leave the area. What are you watching? She says, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like this at all out here today. There we go. So he's got a royal blue collar, and this is the guy that's got the white collar all around his neck. Sit up here and show Vanessa your face. And he is microchip 30357. And you're coming go lay really right in front of my scale. Come over here. Come out here. Go, go play. Okay, now we gotta zero out again. No, you get out of there. Alright, let's see what he weighs. Three pounds, eight ounces on the button. And it's just going to there he goes. There you go. You're off. You're off and going. Is that collar bothered you? I know what that collar is terrible, isn't it? I know it. All right, let's see. Who's back here hiding in the background? I know the little one's back here. See, the this one doesn't like a collar either. He says, I'm done. So this is... <laughs> that one says, can I push this collar off on you? Wow, you're a big girl. You're a big girl. This one's going to be the biggest female, I think. 
Now she's finally gonna look at the toy and look at the toy. Well, we're down to neon green pastel blue. So we're gonna give this one a neon green. This is a female. And let's see how big we can go with this. That's pretty good. Maybe a little snug, let's change it. See, she's getting better. She's up and she's chewing. So sometimes it just takes them a while and sometimes they don't do anything the first week out here. <laughs> Oh, you fell on the chicken. I heard the chicken. All right, there we go. All right, so this little girl, oh, she's a big girl, is 30352. And I bet you she's the biggest dog in the whole litter. Three, four pounds, nope, three pounds, 15.0. So she is like, I can't remember, do we have a bigger one than that? I don't think so. I think this. I think you pretty much take the cake, don't you, Tootsie? She's a big baby. All right, you can climb down. You can get down. We got one left out here. Who is it? Oh, it's the curly one. Ah, uh, maybe we have that one left to do too. Yeah, I got two colors left, so we still got two to go. All right, so this one is three zero three five four, and this little gal is curly. Look at the curls on this. She's got to, you take after the poodle side of you a lot, don't you? You're really getting curly. Every time we get a bath, we give them a bath, we see these new curls pop out. All right, come here. We're going to give you a turquoise collar. All right, there we go. I see it. I know. All right, can you look up here? She says, no, I don't want to. See, I don't want to. All right, now that you're playing, I'm going to move you. Sorry. All right, and you're back under my pan. You got to get out from under my scale. And this one is three pounds six point five, and I think it's leaving the territory. Nope, three pounds six. Even. Beep. I heard it beep. I heard it beep. You're the one without a collar. Come here. Where you're my last victim. Okay, this is puppy number three zero three five one. All I have left is a leopard collar with. It's blue leopard. So you're going to get the blue leopard collar. And we're going to stick that on you. What do you think? I know. You're just not happy, are you? Can you get out of the pan? What? 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 I know, but I don't want you. I don't want you. Go play. you got all this place to go play and go explore, and you have to be my best friend. This one's laying back here on his belly. What? <laughs> Come on. All right, get out of there. Let's see what this one weighs, and then I'll hold it up and let you see a face. Oh, my. Okay. Three pounds, ten ounce, uh, three pounds, 9.5 is where it ended up. And I'll hold her up here and let you see her face. All right. So we're a little over 13? Okay. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea how everybody's doing. Um, they're doing really good. But this one says, get the collar off of me. I'm not moving. You're okay. You were up and moving around before I put the collar. Uh, they're doing great. They really are. And uh, they're eating dog food now. Be about another week and a half to, I think, well, when they hit six weeks old, mom's going to be, she's already getting tired of them. So they'll start coming in the house at six weeks old. They'll get their first shot on their six-week birthday. And if I haven't mentioned it, when you come to pick up your puppy, you will get a full health card that has, has everything that we have done to these guys on the health card. So your veterinarian will know exactly what we've done, what's needed to be, and when it's time it's for it. So, this one's, so um, if you have not booked in for pickup with me, please do so. Um, I'm trying to work around everybody's schedule and get everybody fitted in. And if you're having a puppy picked up by a transport company please just confirm that I know when they're coming because sometimes I don't hear from them and I want to make sure everything's ready when they come so have a great one I hope you have a, a great week and tomorrow's hump day and call me if you have any questions we'll talk to you later